Uh, so I'm de we're, we're setting up some uh, sweet potato chips uh, along with some some pears. I sliced up some pears in the mandolin um, for the dehydrator. We're gonna dehydrate these for like a day or two, and uh, I'm just sprinkling cinnamon on them. Now what Sylvia was doing was she was pouring the cinnamon straight out of the holes. And see how thick those holes are? It was leaving like a big clump of cinnamon on all the individual chips. So I told her that I think this would be a better idea if we open, took the top off, put it into like a little glass contain jar, a little glass bowl, and just take a little pinch, and then just sprinkle it over the top of, of the sweet potatoes, just so you get a little sprinkle on them. I think that's going to turn out better. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the sweet potatoes. And uh, I'm going to do some apples and some pineapples. So, go ahead and push pause. Now I'm going to do some apples. I want to do a green apple, red apple, and the mandolin. Let me show you how the mandolin works. It's a little dangerous when you get to the edge. Okay, do a knife now. I think that's it. This yeah. we could just eat. Yeah. Mm. Or put it in like that. Doesn't matter. And I got all these beautiful little apple chips. Mmm, green apple. Normally take all the seeds out, right? Mm-hmm. If I see any, yeah. Beautiful. Mm. Very pretty. All right. Boom, boom. Mm. I'll do this one. What? Let me have that other piece. Mm. Let me go. I wish you put these on the side. Huh. Oh, let's do the red one. Over here. Fingers. Wow, well, show how we have this, but it's not working out. Maybe somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't really like this thing. This goes into. Oh, I like these red apples better. This goes into the apple, holds it, and you push it through. Eventually, get to the bottom so you don't cut yourself. I don't like using this thing though. I don't know why. Maybe somebody has a better suggestion how you yeah. use it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where's there another tray at? Over there. Oh. And not all of them have this little thing, huh? Mm-mm. There's only three of those, so we use those when we're doing the pulp. Okay. The pulp crackers. And how do you like this? How do I like Little oh, crack these snacks. These are good. Keeps you going all throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're trying to be raw. Yeah. That's all I fit. Okay. Let me dry my fingers so I can, I can cinnamon them up.
New apple cinnamon. It looks good already. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna eat one of them. Mm -hmm. right cinnamon. There's two right here. Put cinnamon on. You got that one. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. So we got four trays going. And let's do some pineapple next. Pineapple. Now I don't know how thick or thin to make this pineapple. But I do know one thing. Is that we need to get rid of the this part. The last time I made the little pieces, they were about that thick. And those were so good. Okay. I'm gonna do it like that, huh? Mm -hmm. That big? Mm-hmm. That's big. Okay, we'll try it. Someone did it like that, huh? Yeah. I wanna know how to get these perfectly straight. I seen somebody what they did was they took like a, a hair pick, you know, those hair picks. You stick it mm -hmm. in like that, mm -hmm. and then they they pound it in down between, a bit, and then they slice in between them to get mm -hmm. them straight. I gotta get a hair that. pick. <laughs> I have one upstairs. I'm just kidding. Do you? <laughs> no. I think I've seen something like that at Bed Bath & Beyond. like a tostada. Yeah. <laughs> Probably their pineapple is smaller or maybe they shrink a lot. Yeah. We'll see. Because the other ones did get pretty small, the small pieces I did. Dehydrating expert, just getting to know this thing. So, if anybody has some tips for me as to what I might be doing wrong or what I can do to improve my dehydrating skills, I would much appreciate it because, as we all know. Girls only like guys with good skills, mm -hmm. you know, like nunchuck skills, what the heck? bow staff fighting skills, skills like that. Mm. Bow hunting skills. That's from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah.
By the way, my favorite animal is a liger. It's a cross between a, a lion and a tiger. <laughs> a liger. Liger. Yeah. yeah. That, that's all it's going to fit on here. Mm-hmm. They're huge. They're big. We're going to fit one more right there, huh? Really? Yeah. Like a half. Uh, probably. Let's see. Let's move a little more. Oh, Ooh, I wonder if we could do some mangoes. I think. Or not. Hmm. No, no, no. Perfect. Yeah. I don't think so, not really. Huh? Mangoes? Hands are kind of a little bit moist. It's not good for the cinnamon. I wanted to show you why I'm sprinkling it on like this. How they were coming before when somebody was just pouring it. Show them over here. It was just like dumping a big, a bunch of cinnamon on it. That's no bueno. So, sprinkling them on, see how that, see what the difference is. So we got one, two, three, four, five racks. Let's push pause and then we'll do some more stuff. What are, what are we gonna do now? All right, uh, we're gonna do some potatoes. I think I can do them long ways, huh? <laughs> try. I'm gonna try a few long ways, see how that turns out. I'm sure this still be good. Ooh, this one I need this thing. Where's the attachment? Mm. Yeah, maybe it's better like this. Go. Yeah, it's better like this. A lot of ways it's too difficult. These slice really easy. Mm hmm chips. Potato chips. Are you going to put salt on them? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> what? You almost dropped that. That's one tray. I know what my somebody might suggest. Maybe like um, you place them further apart. Maybe they cook better. Not cook, but you know they dehydrate better. 
I've been doing that. Ooh. Not the best thing to eat raw. Ugh. When I hit the metal against the blade, it kind of messed up the blade. I noticed that. When, oh, this one's not so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna use it anyway. I don't care. See this right here? You're not McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> That's what, exactly what I was thinking. You yeah. see that? See these little like brown things on the inside of the potato? Um, I saw a video on YouTube about this, about McDonald's, how um, these are created by a certain um, bug. I guess the bug is called an aphid. And, um, That's probably not good. That one. Yeah, this one's not good. That's gross. I'm not going to use that one. And uh, what McDonald's does, because they want to have their a perfect french fry every single time, what they do is, I'm going to use that one, is they spray pesticides that are so powerful, so deadly, on their entire crops of potatoes mm. um, that it kills all the aphids and it and it, it's so powerful that the workers the, the workers that go and um, work they go and pick the potatoes and the workers that process the potatoes they're not allowed to go anywhere near the potatoes for I believe uh, um, four or five days or a week or two weeks I can't remember the exact time frame um, the potatoes have to sit until mm -hmm. um, the pesticides all, you know, the, the gases all air out. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> the workers are not allowed anywhere near the potatoes until all those pesticides have aired out from the potatoes. And that's probably why, that's why it's important to get um, organic potatoes. Remember? Or, organic uh, anything, for that matter. Wow. Yeah. So think about that next time you're at McDonald's and you're enjoying their delicious fries. Actually, I'm going to replace some of these little tiny ones, these bigger ones, because little tiny ones kind of a waste, waste of space. They're not a tray, babe. No, uh, for this, not really. No. Just sort of squeeze them in there, maybe. Yeah, there you go. To use all of these. All right, let's go. And let's get some Himalayan pink salt going. This one has got its own natural grinder, so I don't have to pinch it. Like that. trays of potato chips. And I want to do some more apples. So got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's two more, so it's a nine tray dehydrator. So let's go ahead and push pause. Alright, I decided we're gonna do some bananas because bananas are delicious. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. Of course I'm right. 
Or should I cut them? Should I cut them like chips or should I cut them? That's one. Like this? I think so. Try both ways. I've seen them cut mm -hmm. both ways. Try both and see. No, do one banana like that and then another one the other way, no? What do you think? Yeah. You just play a tree closer. Mm -hmm. This is why I would never make it as a chef. When I went to um, AI, hmm. was it AI? Art Institute mm -hmm. of Culinary, mm -hmm. Art Institute, they told me that um, when you go to a uh, cooking school or a culinary school, you have to learn to chop things up super fast because when you go for job interviews, um, you know, you're making the food for hundreds of people and you need to know how to be fast and they will test you on that. How fast are you? So you have to be able to take a mountain of food and process it in seconds. And they say that that's what makes chefs, chefs, that's what makes them so good is they, they'll take this food and like a ninja and it'll be chopped up and not only chopped up, beautifully, beautifully chopped up, make it look appealing to the eye. And you guys are seeing how slow I am. <laughs> That's why I would make a terrible chef. And when I, I was seriously thinking about going to culinary school, mm. because this was at a time where I was uh, I was unemployed at the time, and um, I think I applied at Del Taco, and I worked at Del Taco for nine months just to give out, just to give uh, cooking, working in a restaurant, even though it was a fast food restaurant. I wanted to give it a try. And I told the the um, the counselor, the guidance counselor at the uh, AI All Art Institute, why I was interested in being a chef. Is because I was uh, I was at home unemployed, and I was making a vegetable soup for myself. I think I was making chicken vegetable soup and I was chopping up all the you know the cabbage the zucchini the carrots the celery and I was sli as I was slicing it up I was realizing that you know what this is fun I'm enjoying myself I'm taking pride in what I'm doing here and I like this and I said you know what that would be nice if I did this for a living and got really good at it you know wouldn't it and when the uh, when the guidance counselor had told me that it's not just good enough to uh, to chop this stuff nice and slow and take your time you have to be really fast that kind of like broke my spirit and made myself think maybe this is not the correct career for me <laughs> so sometimes guidance counselors can guide you away from going to their school which in that case she did <laughs> uh, and she also told me that uh, what dis what discouraged me from going to that school was she told me that um, people that go to that school are passionate about cooking. They love it. It's their entire life. And I was like, you know, I like cooking, but I don't know if I love it. So that's another thing that detoured mm -hmm. me from going to that school. So we're gonna put that in the dehydrator. See how that comes out. Go ahead and put it the There. Go on. Okay. So I'm pairing these kiwis. These kiwis are gonna be next. See if I do a good job at pairing these. 
I wasn't sure what I was going to use. I've used this before. This potato peeler. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is good. So anyways, I was discouraged from going to culinary school by the guidance counselor. The person that was supposed to be selling me on going to that school. The person that was going to get a commission off of me going to that school. It happens. pushed start on it and uh, let me I want to open it up and show you guys what we had cooking uh, so top shelf I had some Asian pears I think these are called Asian pears Asian pears I think so. um, some sweet potato second rack is all sweet potato with cinnamon sprinkled on top of them third rack is one green apple with a little bit of leftover sweet potato with cinnamon and this is not cooking, right? This is dehydrating? This is dehydrating. Um, this is uh, the fourth rack. is all red apple with cinnamon sprinkled on top of it. The fifth rack is six pineapple slices with uh, cinnamon sprinkled on top of it. Sixth rack is, um, of course, the, the red potatoes with uh, uh, Himalayan pink salt. Seventh rack is more... Uh, regular potatoes, red potatoes. Uh, eighth rack is all banana. And the ninth and final rack is kiwi. Nice. I wanted to do some mango, but we'll try that next time. And uh, close that up. And I have this set on uh, raw mode here. Uh, there's two modes. There's a fast mode, and then there's a raw mode. Um, and it looks like the temperature is for 117, but I'm not sure that's a little bit different when you're in raw mode and it's set for 30 hours. It's um, an automatic thing too. It's an automatic thing. So the temperature is not really cooking it, it's just dehydrating it. I, I assume it's just zapping all the moisture out of it and it's gonna, they're going to be crispy like chips. Okay, so we'll let that go for 30 hours. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, dehydrating video and um, thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.